The Wrinkled Engineer has a special build for today. For those of you wishing to social distance while delivering candy to trick-or-treaters, check out this build of a candy cannon. <laughs> Welcome to The Wrinkled Engineer. I'm here with one of the Junior Wrinkled Engineers in front of the camera and a Junior Wrinkled Engineer behind the camera. We've got PVC pipe and fittings, so you know what that means. We're building some kind of launcher, and with it being Halloween, we're going with the uh, Snickers Minis. Um, we're hoping to, to build a, a pretty aggressive, compact launcher. You know, on this day of social distancing, we figured this is a good way to get candy from our doorstep to the curb. Uh, the intent, got some one inch PVC that this just barely fits in. And then we got several fittings. The biggest question mark is going to be our valves. Yeah. So. Because they are they're they're relatively stiff. Although the more we work them, the, the better they, they tend to move. A little concerned with the larger one that it's going to track your barrel off of uh, its target when you try and open it. So we need to sketch out a few things. All right. So the intent is to have a barrel with a handle down at the bottom, a chamber that we can drop the Snickers in, mm -hmm. and then a piece that slides forward and back to reveal that chamber and allow us to, to put the candy and If we in. want to get advanced, we can take one of these um, T's and we can put something in there and have a canister then, and then just put a cap on the end and it would be gravity yeah. fed. Then obviously this will be our air supply through a, just a quarter inch nipple uh, with a quick release. The valve will go either here or back here. Well, it'll go back here. We're going from uh, one inch to I think it's inch and a half. Yeah, something like that. To two inch. That's our PVC size. Um, we've got this chunk of PVC that's two inch that'll end up being our reservoir as much as we can of that. Um, and it actually looks like maybe we go, yeah, we go inch from, and a half. from inch to inch and a half. We got some inch and a quarter that I think will work nicely as our sleeve. So if we cut a chunk of this, that'll be able to, to make up our barrel. Now this is pretty tight because it's an inch across. And so obviously when you take the hypotenuse of that candy, the wrapper tends to kind of get on the barrel, but it's, you know, it's pretty snug. So well, the only problem well that does allow for more air to be caught on it. It also makes it so there's a lot more friction. Should we give it a test? <laughs> the air compressor is 100 psi, so we'll, we have a large range that we can dial it in to hopefully get some lobs because and, and I think some straight line bullet action would be pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if we're going to take this C-shaped handle on the back and put it underneath or over the top. We'll have to. To play around with what the best way to make that work is. The intent with the barrel is going to be to take most of it off wall to wall so that this can drop in and easily. And I'm thinking I might be able to clamp it and then use a hole saw to take that out or we can always cut it with the multi oscillating tool. So that's where we're at. We're going to Let's lay it up. Let's see what we kind of can get going with. So, How would we need this? Oh, so wow. that's our barrel. that can be glued together, that can be glued together, we know that. Alright, let's cut this. Alright, we chopped a few pieces. This is kind of what we got. We got our reservoir here. We figure we'll, we'll mess with the angle, make it more like a, a mortar that you can hold if you need to. Uh, the action on the valve seems to work pretty well. We need to get some couplings here that I did not get for this size to uh, put this piece together. We need to, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fabricate the hole for the chocolate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in this T 
And we've got to our cover thing. Get the nipple put in there. And then we'll fabricate the slide. around it just to just play it safe. Alright, so we've made our run to the store and we're going to go ahead and set this valve first and then kind of glue up most of what we can. I want to put just a little bit around it and then I'm going to drive it in with this socket and then I'll touch up the epoxy. All right, so we are all glued up and close the valve. I've got this set around 50 PSI, give it a nice test. I don't hear anything. That seemed like it might work. Not that piece, this piece. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, we're going to need to test this extensively tomorrow when it's daylight, but that worked pretty well. I think that might have dented the door, but... All right, we did confirm that it dented the door a little bit. So we're gonna aim for this sheet of plywood. We're gonna reset to 20 PSI. Cause that's as low as my regulator goes. See how well that does. <laughs> Not quite as impactful. Let's try 30 PSI. But then it doesn't look as cool. I think we're going to go for like 25 PSI. Well, that wouldn't be too bad if you were shooting it out the yard. True. But this thing is so deadly. Uh, so that doesn't work. You got to get it. You got to put it in there. Well, it works. It works, it works, it works. Um, that works way better than I thought it would. I can't wait to crank up the PSI outside and see how far we can send a Snickers All the way down the street. <laughs> into the sky. So, Ready? that's our build for today. We'll get you some more video after this of us playing around with this thing, but. <laughs> Pretty simple and effective. You might not want to try this at home. Uh, that works. I can't say much more about it. So that enjoy the goes. footage of the, the firing, but it seems to hold the pressure well to the well. Thank you. What is that camera seat? Ready. What's it? What? Set. Go. <laughs>